All right, Blake 7 returns for a second season, and it starts to give some clues. Well, uh, well, I guess it pretty much spells it out as to where the Liberator came from. And uh, so it, it, it begins more or less where they left off, which was the, uh, the, the I, I guess, uh, prophecy that Orak came up with. <laughs> it's a means by which... Yeah, the computer is so brilliant it can come up with these possibilities and predict an outcome and actually shows the visual of the Liberator uh, being destroyed. So, of course, uh, Blake's very upset about this <laughs> and keeps watching it over and over again, trying to figure out what, what he can do to prevent it. Meanwhile, Avon says, ah, just look around, look at the stars. You can see where it is. Let's just don't ever go there. And Blake's like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Well, of course, they didn't count on being forced to go there. So, uh, yes, the uh, aliens, I, I guess, uh, are who uh, developed Liberator uh, show up and they want their their starship back. And you have, uh, in, they're, they're in two smaller ships, but clearly of the design similar to the Liberator. And there's a, a pursuit and they, they think they've lost them, but it turns out they were able to take control of Zen and then the ship begins to slowly reject them, and there's all kind of uh, traps and whatnot uh, in there. Uh, and it's all pretty, it's very cool. Uh, and and they, uh, you, you come into contact with the, the people, and they, they appear to be very much another dystopian society uh, dominated completely, even worse than the Federation, because <laughs> they all obey the system. And... Um, the, uh, the, you, the, the main leaders are these two lovely ladies in skin tight uh, tights, <laughs> uh, one of whom you might remember from uh, Genesis of the Dialects, and, uh, and another one who will show up later in uh, Keeper of Tracking. Uh, I'm, so, I'm forgetting the names. Harriet was the short haired lady. And, but anyway, uh, yeah, uh, so you'll, uh, you'll see one of them again in uh, my Doctor Who reviews down the road but anyway they're they have uh, they have slaves that they use for labor and whatnot and they've got these uh, guards in black and then uh the ladies of course but they're all just drones themselves so it's completely pretty much computerized society i i imagine and all that stuff and it looks like it's pretty much all over for blake but and, and crew but they managed to uh, figure out to uh, have orac uh intercede and he it, it or he it it does <laughs> and is able to uh, infiltrate their computer systems and they're able to make good their escape. There's an indication, not an indication. They flat out say it that Orac uh, can't do it immediately because uh, he's busy with other calculations. Well, <laughs> I couldn't help but think because uh, is 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 super duper computer yet it doesn't have the memory space to do two things at once <laughs> and but it, it could be that uh, villa had him uh, download porn <laughs> and he had to get through with that uh and and then uh take on the uh the system and uh, they're able to do it and uh, of course make good their escape so it's it's a pretty good episode you have the pursuit and uh they give you uh, some elements of the origins of, of Liberator and uh, also uh, oh yeah and so the prophecy of, oh can you guess what it was yes it's another Liberator or whatever it was called uh, same design of ship that they had and they, they fired up one to uh, uh, pursue them but after Oryx uh, messing with all of their systems it set them into a self-destruct mode <laughs> Uh, so uh, that was the end of that. Uh, so the ship blows up, and they're like, "Oh well, everything's fine." Yeah, it, it's odd because, uh, well, spoilers, things don't end well for for Liberator. But anyway, so uh, a good episode to return on, uh, you know, uh, to open up and and, and uh, give them more details and development for it all. And but it's also this the show is really very dark and that it, there's boy it's like there's no sanctuary you know because he's like hey maybe the aliens can help them against their war with the no they're probably even worse <laughs> so couldn't find allies there so what do you do when you're fighting against uh, a totalitarian state and all that 
Well, you turn to the mob. <laughs> so in the next episode, Shadow. No, not Lamont Cranston. It's some sort of drug that uh, is horribly addictive and you'll, you'll do anything for. And uh, there's this uh, space city called Space City. That's <laughs> supposed to be, I guess, like Las Vegas or whatnot. And uh, Bill is all excited because he wants to go there and, you know, pick up some hookers and do some drugs and and uh, and, and some gambling. <laughs> and uh, uh, so, Space City is, is run by this uh, the, the the oh man, what do they call it? The oh the the Terra Nostra. So. <laughs> And uh, the, the guy who seems to be in charge at Space City for the moment is a guy named Largo. <laughs> no, not the Bond villain. And, uh, of course, he meets his end because he fails to uh, measure up for the uh, Terra Nostra. So his second in command takes over and all that stuff. But it, it's not bad. And it's, it's it, 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 on the face of it, uh, what's the, the, the plot and idea that this is something Blake would do. Uh, but ultimately, they discover that the Federation already has its tentacles within uh, the the mob, and so they're kind of just helping each other out. So there's not a whole lot uh, you can uh, get out of them. So it's kind of a bit fruitless. The uh, source of the Terra Nostra's power is, of course, the drug Shadow, and they uh, g go to eliminate the source of it or attempt to anyway. And they dress up like Luke Skywalker <laughs> and do that. Meanwhile, Kelly. Uh, appeared to be uh, getting attacked by Orak, and Orak suddenly became very sinister and was up to no good. And stupid Villa even uh, helps him out, not will it, uh, understanding all this just to get teleported down to Space City so he can, you know, get stoned and uh, hook up with hookers, you know. Uh, but meanwhile, Callie uh, battles with Orak because of her telepathic uh, abilities, and then this is the weak part of the show because at the end it just sort of shoehorns in that no it wasn't Orac it was some interdimensional entity that was trying to take over Orac and yeah it just kind of fizzles yeah because she just sort of has, by the way this is what happened yeah you know, well all right so um not as strong as the first one there's some interesting elements here and there uh, and then uh, I guess they, they leave it where Blake's movement continues on because one of the uh, drug users, his sister, ends up dying and he's kind of the only one left and he's bent on wanting revenge but there's not much they can do but then Blake tells him to you know, join the movement and be a lieutenant in, in Space City, I guess and uh, he'll check up on him later <laughs> that's not happening <laughs> Uh, but anyway, that's the kind of thing Blake does because he wants this massive revolt against uh, the Federation and uh, how that all goes. But anyway, uh, uh, the first episode, Redemption, or, or Repo, as they came to repossess their vehicle. <laughs> uh, but Redemption uh, was far superior to Shadow, so... Uh, so, uh, but, uh, but, you know, uh, Shadow had some cool stuff in it, but, uh, yeah, Redemption was the better one of the two. So, so, you know, more or less off to a good start for season two of Blake seven. Thanks for watching and listening. Say, while you're still here, why not like and subscribe and share with your many friends? Yes. Also, check out my many stores <laughs> in the link description below. Yes, where you can get t-shirts, hats, mugs, all those goodies with my artwork on them. Oh, yeah. And head over to IndiePlanet.com and pick up a copy of my comic book, Night Night. <laughs> Oh, yeah. You can also catch me at my podcast, Mr. Nelson Joe, on RadioMisfits.com. And you can also watch my videos on BitChute.com and now on Rumble.com. Oh, my goodness. So many places to watch me and my stuff. Oh, yeah. And if that's not enough for you, well, you can follow me on many social media platforms and say hi to your old pal, Mr. Nelson.